Today I'm going to show you how to do a couple of examples on inverse proportion. So we're going to write down a formula for y when it's inversely proportional to x. So let's have a look at example 1 then. So we've got y is inversely proportional to x. And when x equals 6, y is equal to 7. Find a formula for x. So if y is inversely proportional to x, this means our formula will take the shape of y equals k divided by x. And what we need to do then is work out the value of k. This is known as the constant of proportionality. And we find the constant by substituting the two numbers given in the question. So we know that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 7. So if we sub these into our formula, we get 7 equals k divided by 6. So if we're going to figure out what k is, we need to get rid of the divide by 6. And we can do this by multiplying both sides of our equation by 6. So 7 times 6 is 42. So we get k is equal to 42. So we just need to go back now to our original formula. And we just need to change the k to 42. So y will be equal to 42 divided by x. So this is our formula related to this question here. So let's do one more example then. So example 2. So this time we've got d is inversely proportional to c. And when c equals 5, d is equal to 9. And we've got to find a formula for d. So since d is inversely proportional to c, this means our formula will take the shape of d equals k divided by c. So the next step then is to substitute the two given numbers into this formula. So we can figure out what the value of k is. So d is equal to 9 and c is equal to 5. So if we solve this equation, so all we've got to do is do the opposite to divide by 5, which is to multiply by 5. So 9 times 5 is 45. And that will give our value of k. So in our case, 45. So we just need to go back to our original formula and change k to 45. So don't forget to write this down. So d is equal to 45 over c. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want some more examples on some harder questions on inverse proportion, which involve squares and cubes, make sure you take a look at my second part to this. Thanks for watching.